Hello everyone. In this particular video, we are going to learn the reasons for differences between the cash book and passbook balances. So, in the introductory part, we saw that a bank reconciliation statement is a statement that shows us the reasons for differences between the cash book and the passbook balances. Now, to prepare a bank reconciliation statement, at first place, it is very important for us to understand what are these reasons for which a bank reconciliation statement is prepared for the differences between the cash book and the passbook balances. So, in this particular video, we are going to learn all of those reasons which are broadly classified into three categories. So, what are those three categories? Firstly, what we have is the differences due to the timing difference secondly what we have is the differences due to the transactions recorded only by the bank and thirdly what we have is the differences due to the errors now if we see the third one that is the differences due to errors is the most easiest one and the most simplest one why because this is very logical when we talk about errors we know that there can be errors in the passbook and errors in the pass errors in the cash book or the errors in the passbook what can be all of these errors these errors can be the incorrect amount that is recorded, the incorrect account that has been debited or credited or say the incorrect narration. So whenever we talk about the reasons as the error for the difference between the cash book and the passbook balance, we need to remember that these errors can either be in the cash book or in the passbook so very simple very logical if there are errors in either of the books the balances that will be shown on a particular date by both the books are not going to be the same this was all about the errors or say the reasons related to the errors moving ahead we have the differences due to the timing difference now it is possible that on a particular date a transaction is recorded in the cash book but the same is not recorded in the passbook what will happen my cash book and passbook balance will not tally similarly it is also possible that on a particular date one transaction is recorded by the bank but the same is not recorded in the cash book again on that particular date my balance for the cash book and passbook is not going to match so for all of those differences where the transaction is not recorded in both the books at the same time are classified under the reasons due to the timing difference and therefore under this particular category we are going to have all of those reasons which are due to the timing difference or say the difference in the time of recording a particular transaction in the cash book and in the passbook so let us take it down under this particular category we can have two things that is the checks that are deposited but not cleared and secondly we can have the checks that are issued but not presented for the payment so let us first take it down Now, when we talk about this particular situation where the checks issued are not presented, we can say that whenever the check is issued for the payment, the cash book is going to reduce because we are going to record this particular payment as an outflow from the cash book and therefore that transaction gets recorded in the cash book. But the same payment through the check is recorded 
in the passbook only when the check is presented for the payment so very much possible that the date of issuing the check and the date of presenting the particular check for payment in the bank are different and therefore because of such difference in timing for a particular transaction the cash book and the passbook balance will again not tally so this is one of the reasons under the timing difference another way we can say is where the checks deposited are not clear so when we talk about this particular transaction we know that the date on which a particular check is deposited and the date on which the check gets cleared are different so whenever the check will be deposited on that particular date it will be recorded in the cash book but the bank will record such deposited check only when the payment is received and the check is cleared for that particular transaction so again we know that the date of depositing the check and the date of clearing the check are different and because of such difference of timing my cash book and passbook balance will again not match on a particular date so checks issued but not presented for payment and checks deposited but not cleared on a particular date are the reasons under the timing difference that means these are the transactions which are recorded in both the books but on different dates moving ahead we have the reasons under transactions recorded by the bank now we know that there are transactions which are recorded by the bank and not recorded in the cash book what all are those transactions for example if standing instructions are given to the bank for making some payments then in that case even though the same is not recorded in the cash book the payment is made directly by the bank and therefore the payment that is recorded in the bank or say that is recorded in the pass book is not seen in the cash book which again causes a difference again when we talk about the bank charges or the bank interest these are the transactions and these are the amounts which are determined by the bank itself and therefore such transactions and such amounts will be recorded by the bank on its own and will not be seen in the cash book so again because of all of these transactions the cash book and the pass book balance will not match so let us take down these two types that is the transactions recorded by bank which are debited and which are credited whenever we talk about the transactions that are credited by the bank in the account we are talking about all the receipts in the bank account and whenever we talk about the debits we are referring to all of the payments which are directly made by the bank and directly made from the bank account so let us start when we talk about the transactions that are debited by the bank we are talking about the bank charges we are talking about the direct payments which are made by the bank again we will also have dishonor of a bill discounted with the bank so whenever the bill which is discounted with the bank is dishonored the bank will debit the account of the holder by the amount of the dishonor along with the charges so keep in mind these are the three types of transactions which will be recorded directly by the bank in the bank account but will not be reflected in the cash book so bank charges direct payments and dishonor of bill are all of those which will be debited to the account in order to reduce the bank balance when we talk about the transactions that are credited we know that there is going to be the bank interest which is credited on regular intervals along with that there is also going to be the dividends which are directly collected by the bank we have the amounts that are directly deposited in the bank account and also the bills which are collected by the bank 
So when we talk about the bills that are collected by the bank, it is possible that all of the bills with respect to the sale transactions are collected by the bank and the amount is directly credited to the bank account. So with this, we have completed the reasons for differences where we saw that there are three major categories. Firstly, due to the timing difference. Secondly, the transactions that are directly recorded by the bank. And thirdly, the errors that are caused either in the cash book or in the passbook. So with this, now we all very well know that when we talk about the difference in timing of recording a transaction, we are referring to the first category where there are majorly two cases where the checks are issued but not presented for payment and the checks are deposited but not cleared. Along with that, we also saw that there are several transactions which the bank may debit or credit on its own and therefore will not be recorded in the cash book. And thirdly, we saw the errors in the cash book or the passbook, which can be with respect to the incorrect amount, the incorrect narration or the incorrect account. So with this, I hope that now we are very clear what are the reasons for the difference between the cash book and the passbook balances. Moving ahead, we'll also come to know how are we supposed to reconcile and prepare the bank reconciliation statement to match the cash book and the passbook balances. Thank you.